I can probably say I managed to not lose any hats in the wind. I, oh, I know. It was so crazy windy yesterday. I had a dental appointment. And uh, right above the chair where they work on your face, yeah. they have um, they had a screen and they were like live streaming the um, the harbor oh, camp. The lake? Nice. The harbor yeah. camp. So I was sitting there watching the waves just crash up. Just like, wow. Nothing says relaxing while getting some dental work done like crashing waves into a shoreline. Just bam. If you want to learn, uh, listen, my dental experience was like no other yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, seriously. I actually, I, it was so uh, mind, well, it was life-changing, really. <laughs> wow. I actually wrote about it. Wow. It was that so life-changing. You can read about, the, yeah, it's like new technology. Oh. Robots? Robots? No, well, no, oh. no, but no more metal tools oh. in your mouth, Nick. Oh, okay. Isn't All that right. the worst okay. thing yeah, about yeah, going yeah, to yeah. the dentist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the metal tool? Oh, I just, I just had that like the scraping metal. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. No more. Oh, wow. no more. Well, I, uh, interesting. Well, I'll, have to, I'll have to do some reading later. Uh, also coming up this morning, by the way. Scroll to the bottom, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> All the way. All the way. All the way. Uh, also coming up this morning, <laughs> a lot of those TikTok nutrition hacks that people are, you know, seeing and sharing and talking about and trying to follow. Oh yeah, they're all great. A lot of them are bunk. Uh, wait, actually, what? they're just they're, they're trash. They're, they are. There was a study that was done about that. We'll talk about that. Uh, plus Nick's nonsense later on this hour. You don't want to. You know, there's somebody performing a medical procedure to leave in the middle of the medical procedure. No, no. Um, that happened to somebody. We'll share their story and Nick's nonsense later on this morning. Song in 60 is also on the way in a couple of minutes, Tony. Yes. Uh, yes. I was going to give you a clue, but I was like, well, no, that no. clue will probably give it away. Okay. So, yes. You just keep it. Just I'll keep it in my, keep it to myself. We'll play in a couple of minutes. Miley Cyrus now here at Mix 108. Mix 108. Good morning. It is the morning brew. It is Tony and Nick. It's time to play Song in 60. Your chance to try to guess what song I have in my head right now. I'm going to give some clues to both you and Nick if you can figure it out. Then you can uh, declare yourself the champion for today. Be singing, "We are the champion." You can. I am the champion. If you choose. Okay. If that is not today's song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. Here we go. Song in sixty. Timer starts right now. Um, Q R S T. Ouch. Oh, T Pain. Let's go. Um. A, a drink. Um, I'll say buy you a drink, but that's no nope. drink. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, pub um. conversation. Um, why am I blanking pour, on this? Horror. Um, um oh, no. this is terrible. Uh, oh, no. uh, pub bar behind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, bartender. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was. I realized I was stuck that I couldn't say the word bar. Yeah. So. Yep. 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 Okay. Yes. Bartender by T Pain. Of course, it was announced yesterday that T Pain will join Luda Chris at the uh, Minnesota State Fair for a grandstand show that will bring, I'm sure, more energy than any show in the in, oh. in several years at the Minnesota State Fair. At least since um, Usher and. Um, and little John was there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what that was. Sorry. Your little John impression? Not really. It was back to the lab on that I know. One. I got to work on that. Uh, you want to learn more about when you can get tickets to go check out T Pain and the Ludicrous at the Minnesota State Fair? You can hit up the Mix 108 app or go to Mix 108. No. Mix 108 Morning Brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. So you can get a lot of good stuff from TikTok entertainment, information, you know, recipes. I like getting health hacks. tips. Health tips, maybe you might want to consider that a little bit. Exercise tips. So there was tips. a study that was conducted. Dublin City University teamed up with a, uh, a business called My Fitness Pal. Um, so it was, you know, Sounds university. completely legitimate. Well, this yes. university is the legitimizing oh, part of the whole oh, thing. Sure. Yep. So they, they found a few things. One, they found that 57% of people on TikTok uh, use that as their main source of nutrition information. So over half... Of people on TikTok get nutrition information from TikTok. Uh, they also concluded in their same research that just 2.1% of that information out there is actually accurate. Wow. 
<laughs> That's a low number. If you would have asked, I would have oh. said like, how much is accurate? I would have been like, I don't know, 40%, 30%. So to determine this, what they did is they looked at health codes. They looked at recommendations from doctors and nutritionists and things like They looked at a lot of legitimate data. Yeah. And then they looked at the information that's being out on, you know, put on a TikTok, and they found that the accuracy out there is pretty low. Huh. Well, that is pretty <laughs> low, yes. Um, some of the most viral health hacks that have serviced on TikTok include the nature's ozempic um, trend and also uh, the practice of marinating your diet Coke are among some of these trends that have popped up. Marinating um, your diet Coke. I didn't. Wait, we got to hold up now. I don't know what that. Yeah. Marinating your diet Coke. What is this? Okay. So I'm, I'm looking into it here. Um, blah, blah, blah. There's a new way to enjoy your pop. Uh, marinating has been bubbling up on TikTok. This is from a little while ago. Um, fans have been exchanging tips on ways to make their favorite soft drink even better. Giving your uh, apparently... I don't know exactly. Got to scroll to the bottom, Tony, is what I got to do here. <laughs> Read more. Oh, Keep scrolling. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I can't find anything. I'm I'm curious. I'm sorry. I, I so mean to just ra- Apparently, it's like just derail you. like keeping it cold and like just, you know, it, it's kind of a dumb thing, apparently. I don't know. It, it's a little bit that I'm reading. I'll find out Dude, more later. Said, Leaving Diet Coke in the refrigerator for a period of two days to two weeks is key to achieving maximum bubbliness. <laughs> The process is described as marinating the soda, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, says this video. Yeah. But, okay. So, okay. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have to look into this it's more. This, may have, you, be, you're, this you're, may have to be a TikTok treasure. This, this, yeah, but you're in. So, this is something that's up your alley, that is. Yeah. Now that we've been derailed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, legitimately, it's a good question because I had no idea. Uh, so, the same research from this university and this, this fitness business. Uh, they determined that 87% of millennials and Gen Zers wholeheartedly trust TikTok when it comes to nutrition and health information. See, here's the thing about what, whether it's that type of stuff or health and beauty things or whatever. What works for one person might not work for everyone. Oh, yeah. I think we're coming to learn that more and more that, you know, health in particular, is yeah. very it's, it's individualized very personalized and very it's very different from person to person. Yeah. So what you know what might help someone lose weight or maintain weight or gain muscle mass or or even just get through your day, you know, is going to be different from person to person. So that's a part of the issue here. But the fact that almost ninety percent of younger adults wholeheartedly believe all the stuff they see on TikTok. Oh, like, for sure. That's a little scary to me. Yeah. I always take everything I see on the internet with a little grain of salt. And, you know, you probably should do that, too. Okay, if Just I have to. Suggestion. I don't know. <laughs> I like believing everything they say, though. One of the experts that they talked to uh, said, if there's anything that promises a quick fix, probably a little dangerous or sus, as the kids might say. Sus. It's a yeah, little, it's a little sus. sus. Yeah. So just kind of be aware of that. You don't want to riz on it at all. <laughs> right. Exactly. Any other slang you got for me, Tony? Oh, I got tons of it. Well, I'll let you save it for later. Yep. So anyway, just be careful about the TikTok life hacks and health hacks and stuff like that. All right. Uh, trending at the top, coming up at the top of the hour before then. I may then. marinate my pop, though, if I okay. figure out how to do it. I'm, I want to know. Let you, I'm going to let you know I may do this. I want to know how that goes. It doesn't make much sense to me now that I think about it. Because you're supposed to drink pop cold. Yeah. So why wouldn't you put it in the fridge? For a certain period of time, though. Peak, but may, maybe peak that's fizz. Peak fizz. Peak fizz, Tony. Uh, <laughs> we're going to see uh, what's in Nick's nonsense this morning. And it also, I, I'll give you a hint. It includes somebody who is doing a medical procedure that left. Not, not good. Not good. We'll talk about that in a little while here. Mix it away. Good morning. Mix. What are we morning brew? Mix nonsense on a Wednesday morning. Go to Iowa. We head south of the border where an Iowa man had to call the sheriff's department for assistance after his acupuncturist did what acupuncturists do. They put the needles in the body. Yeah. it's a, Yeah. The needle thing, right? Yeah. Which I don't know that I could do. Have you I, ever done it? No, never done I, it. I couldn't. I don't know if I you could do it. You don't think so? I've heard people that are afraid of needles that ultimately like... It's good. It works. But I don't know that I could do it. But anyway, this, this person goes in, has the, the acupuncturist do their thing. Then the acupuncturist went home and fell asleep, leaving the needles in the guy. Okay, I'm certainly not getting it done now. <laughs> I can't imagine. That's like, 
That's like a real life Saw movie almost. Kind of. Like, I'm going to stick all these needles in you and leave and you can't move. So the story, it happened last June, but we're getting more information about it now as there's, you know, research. There's like, they're looking into it. Mm. So uh, health board records report that uh, the sheriff in northwestern Iowa back last June went in for a male patient who called in because this uh, doctor's nickname is Dave. Um, Dr. Dave. Dave Wang. He's a state licensed acupuncturist. According to the board, he, in, he put the needles in, left, went home, and as I mentioned before, fell asleep. So the patient took some needles out on his own and then called the sheriff's office for assistance after that. <laughs> My goodness. Um, the doctor, Dr. Wang, agreed to settle the case um, with a warning and a $500 penalty. Um, but what a scary, like the, like the idea of having someone stick needles in my body in the first place, no thanks. And then the dude leaves and goes home and takes a nap. Like what, what was the game plan there? Was it like, I'll, I'll be back later. Like, I don't what, know. what is going on there? I don't know. I, I just love that you don't trust me enough that you got to call him <laughs> Dr. Dave <laughs> instead of Dr. Wang right away. <laughs> did you try to sneak that one by I, me? I did. I did. Come on. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not, I, I, unfortunately, I'm not going to try pronouncing his actual first name. Dave is his nickname, but yeah, doc, Dr. Wang. Oh, wait, it gets better though. <laughs> Go ahead, Tony. Nope. No, not nope. touching it. All right. All right. Fair enough. We'll just leave it at that. Anyway, that's Nick's nonsense here this morning. <laughs> we'll see what's trending at the top in a couple of minutes here and mix and wait. Good morning. From the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth. This is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. Well, not a surprise, but uh, rain, showers, and windy, the name of the game again today. Uh, Boy, it's nasty. It was, it's windy. Holy cow. Not great. Um, I'll get to wind gusts in a little while. There's some pretty impressive numbers. In the meantime, rain for today 90% chance of rain, windy, uh, high around 45. Tomorrow, Breezy, we'll see some sun, uh, 53, but then later day rain showers again. Rain turns to snow overnight Thursday with snow chances and right around 40 on Friday. But then we clear out for the weekend. We'll be back around 50 on Saturday, partly sunny, and then Sunday into the 50s, sunny and breezy. So the weekend's looking nicer, but everything will be, you know, soaking wet. So if you had plans to, you know, do any sort of activities outside, you know, the Yard ground work be, or something like yeah, that. Get your the leaves you might not have taken care of last fall or earlier this year or something. They're all wet. Uh, so I mentioned ra- uh, wind to- wind gusts. Um, so these are as of yesterday evening. We've obviously been getting wind overnight. I had the power go out at my place last night for a while. That was great. Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, I was like, oh, yeah, I should, you know. How long? I-, I went to bed before it came back on. So I don't know. So, thankfully, I had enough battery on my phone to give me a wake-up this morning. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Uh, so, range anywhere from, like, Solon Springs, Grand Rapids, Moose Lake, around 30 miles an hour. Near the lake is where things get really interesting. So, um, Port Wing, 47 miles an hour. Two Harbors, 48. Silver Bay, 52. Thompson Hill in Duluth, 53. Sky Harbor Airport, 53. Um, the Garfield Avenue and I-35 intersection, if you will. Uh, 57, Blotnick Bridge, 65 mile an hour wind gusts yesterday. Wow. Uh, I'll do an update on this because we've been getting wind blew since then. Blew over a but, truck even yesterday. Well, they haven't officially said that, but yeah, a truck blew over yesterday wow. is what Come on, basically it had happened. Have, yeah. It had to have done it. Yeah. It had to have. Yeah. That's crazy. That's, it, that's windy. It is windy. Um, you know, the it's gale force winds kite. in some cases. Yeah. <laughs> String or go surfing. String will break. Well, there's that. We go surfing. We could go fly a kite. These are things we could do on a windy, rainy day. Well, I don't know the about The rain flying. doesn't sound great. No, that. really kind of ruins the whole thing, doesn't it? I mean, you can go ahead. I'll watch from inside. Go ahead. He's like, I'll watch from the comfort of the bar. The, the bar. Through a window where it's nice and dry. My core. 
Coming up later on this morning, another chance to win some Duluth Harbor Monsters tickets. They kick off their inaugural season with a preseason game at the end of May and then their regular season in June. And we would love to send you and uh, some guests of yours to a game this summer. Plus, we got tickets to go check out Friday night's show at Amsoil Arena with nice. Gucci Mane and Prof. And Prof will join us this morning on the show. Um, so stick around for that interview and a chance to win some tickets this morning to the concert on Friday night. All right. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is the Mix Waterway Morning Brew. Mix Waterway Morning Brew on a Wednesday morning. Currently, it is a uh, just beautiful 38 degrees, windy, rainy out there. Just, just stunning this morning. Really gorgeous morning. Beautiful. So, Tony, last hour, you were glowing about your... You went to the dentist yesterday. Not many people are glowing after they no, go to the I dentist. No, never, I never glow when I go to the dentist. I'm usually... You know, I, I usually don't look forward to the experience. Yeah. It's usually... It's usually... You know, kind of an annoying thing to do, right? Sure. In life, go to the dentist because you know nothing fun's going to happen at the dentist. Right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> at the at the at the very best, you're going to go get a cleaning in which they're going to use those annoying tools to <laughs> dig around in your mouth. <laughs> yep. Poke around. Mm -hmm. They're scraping on your teeth. Uh, oh, it's the worst, right? Yeah. It really is the worst. Yeah. You're you're painting a nice picture for us here this yeah, morning. All that that metal. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Anyways. So yesterday, I go to the dentist and they have this new they have this new technology. I don't know how new technology it is, but it's fairly new technology sure. where they don't have to use the scrapers anymore or the metal tools. What are they doing? They it, it's basically like a mini sandblaster almost. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. It's a little machine and there's a little little thing of powder on the top. Mm -hmm. So this powder is basically like a baking soda, kind of sugary powder. Okay. It's it's got it's got no flavor. Once in a while I get like a slight sugary taste, oh. but hmm. but nothing it doesn't have any flavor. Okay. And it mixes with warm water, which is nice cuz usually you just get cold water, which yeah. is kind of annoying in the mouth. Yeah. So the nice warm water mixed with this really fine powder and they basically blast your teeth with it with a like a fine mist. Hmm. And they clean your teeth. But then they put this stuff on before they do your teeth to rub on, to show where the plaque is on your teeth. So pink if it's only been there for a few hours. Okay. Blue if it's been there for, I don't know, 24 hours. Okay. I'm just making this up. Purple if it's been there for like 48 hours or okay. more. You know, so they can see. Where to attack. Where to attack. Okay. Where to attack, exactly, the attack huh. plan. So thankfully I report not much, not much purple or blue in my mouth. Very oh, pink. Nice. Okay. Very, even my hygienist was surprised. Wow. She was disappointed, actually, she said. <laughs> well, this like, didn't go as planned. Yeah, I was, I was like, looking to show you how gross your mouth is. I know. I was, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And my <laughs> wife, Mindy, last night, how did you beat the system? I'm like, what do you mean beat the ah. system? I'm like, I take care of my teeth. Anyways, so, yeah, they like, basically sandblast it or okay. whatever. You know, whatever. It's called airflow, I think. Okay. But, yeah, no more tools or anything like that. Huh. So they just... Use this thing to spray it off and clean off your teeth. And boy, they they feel real clean. Nice. They feel real clean. Better than a metal tool cleaning, I think. Yeah. I, mm. The only downside is it's a little wet. Because, you know. Are you getting sprayed all over the place? Yeah, you're getting sprayed all over the place. And you get they put like a little, what looks like a little leaf kind of in your mouth. Okay. Which is the sucker. So, the su you know, sometimes when you go, they just put the sucker in once in a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll, like, clean, rinse, and then put the sucker in your mouth. Yep. This one has, like, a permanent sucker that just oh. sits in your mouth. And then you can just close your mouth and it just sucks it all in. Okay. But, yeah, it's pretty neat. Huh. I had a towel on my chest, though, and they oh. had to dab me off once in a while because I was getting a little wet in the face. But let's be real. Would you rather have, you know, a you know, splash zone oh, face yeah. no, or be no. scraped with a, you I'm know. absolutely fine with the wetness okay. over the tools. Oh, well, there you go. So, yeah, I was impressed. I'm like, well, this isn't bad. Hmm. I might, I might, I wouldn't go as far as to say I will enjoy cleanings, but. I was going to say, Tony's going once a week now. It's not, it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. So, mm -hmm. if you're scared of getting, like. A cleaning because of the metal tools and stuff. Mm -hmm. You should look into this. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, so I, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I am mostly too. about your teeth. Don't get. <laughs> See, look at how shiny and nice they are. Look Ooh, at that. Uh -huh. Very uh -huh. impressive. Very nice. But anyways, I just thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. No, that is interesting. That we don't have to worry about stuff like those annoying dental tools oh. anymore. Yeah. Ah, oh, hate those. The worst. The worst ever. Oh, worst. So now you don't have to deal with it. 
If Very you, nice. Well, I mean, if you go to a dentist that has this technology. Well, yeah. yeah but yeah. I'm sure most dentists, it makes They're sense. trying to stay up on the latest. I would imagine that it makes sense to have this, though. It's probably cheaper than cleaning the tools all the time. and Yeah, it has its own ser- sterilization know. process, I'm sure. but Oh, yeah, but it's just kind of one machine with interchangeable plastic parts, I think. Sure. Rather than the... Huh. I don't know. Anyways. Cool. I thought I'd share that with you because it's kind of cool. Hey, we got to wrap this up, though, because uh, Prof is going to call us here in a little bit. And we're going to have uh, uh, him on the show. Yeah. Of course, he's a Minnesota rapper that's going to be performing with Gucci Mane on Friday night at Amsoil Arena. So stick around. That interview is on the way. Plus, we'll have a shot for you to win some tickets to Friday night's show at Amsoil Arena with Gucci Mane and Prof. So stick around. That's all coming up here on the Morning Brew with the nicest, cleanest teeth in the Twin Ports. On Mix 108. Mix right morning brew, Wednesday morning edition. Special guest joining us this morning, Tony. Yes, he's going to be live at Amsoil Arena on Friday night with Gucci Mane. It's going to be a great show. Kicking off 420 weekend, of course. Kicking off 420 weekend. Um, He's a Minnesota rapper. He's been doing it for years, and he's got a very unique sound, and we're excited to welcome Prof to the show. Good morning. How are you, Prof? Man, I'm good. Just one quick thing I want to get out of the way. You know this 420 stuff? Like, I do not like performing to a bunch of high people. (laughs) Okay, that's (laughs) That's a fair fair assessment. That's fair, yeah. Have your drinks or whatever. Come sober or whatever. I, like I, my worst shows ever are at like um, like uh, marijuana festivals. Man, okay. I hate, I'm like everybody, put your hands up, and then one dude puts his hands up, and then he like looks around, and everyone's like, oh, oh everyone's all just paranoid right. about having. Uh, so, so that actually is a, that's a good point because I've always wondered that with with musicians because you're all yeah. like. A lot of folks really encourage and appreciate the let's party as a part of the show, but at the same time, yeah. you also make sure they're engaged too, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, famously, you know, if the crowd is too high, like anywhere, sometimes like in Cali or Denver, at around certain dates, um, it's just whack, man. I remember I went on right before Busta Rhymes at a festival in Michigan, and huh. he was like cussing them out. He was like, this is the worst. You know, I, I try and play with people a little bit, you know, right, get them involved right. and bring, bring up their spirits and say, hey, it's okay, man. You know, we can do this together, and Buster Rhymes is just pissed, man. So, <laughs> but no, I, I know how Duluth goes, man. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So tell us a little bit about uh, a prof live show. Now, of course, your music is one of a kind, but uh, a live show is something else with prof. So tell people what they can expect at Amsoil in yeah, a couple well, weeks. Yeah, well, I mean, Duluth already knows what to expect. I yeah. could just make a silent interview here and not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> And it, it's going to be lit, but um, you know, it's 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 a familiar market for me, and I've been playing it for yeah. over ten years. So the people who are going to be there know. But if you know, if you come to see like Gucci Man or something, and you're looking at me like, I'm going to require some participation and some effort here because I don't I don't like to do anything. I don't like to just show up. Yeah. And, you know, do all this hard work to get there, you know, especially on tour and then just like do something mid like, right. nah, we, we're, you know, this is you paid some good money. Like I, I paid my time and my effort. I'm about to put some blood, sweat and tears into this thing. And like it's it's going to go all the way up. And I, 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 I facilitate that. So if people listening don't know who Prof is, you're in Minneapolis. You're a Minnesota artist. You've been doing your thing for how many how many years now? I don't want I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Long time. I've been rapping for at least seven months. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's great. Seasoned. Yeah. Do you find it's hard to be taken seriously as a rapper from Minnesota? Do people be like, ah, just take Minnesota right away and just automatically put you in a box? I don't care. You don't care. Sure. You know, honestly, I don't. I don't really get that as much anymore because yeah. I've just been touring nationally and releasing music nationally. I always kind of rep Minnesota, like I'm like proud of it. Like some artists who come out of here, they don't really want to talk about it or whatever. Like right. I'm like, yeah, oh, oh yeah, like that's that's my thing. Um, so I have pride in that. But um, I don't care what what they think. You know what I mean? Like I, after this show in um, Duluth, the very next day. That night, I'm driving over to Milwaukee, and I'm going to perform a sold-out show that the same size, like 2,000 people in Milwaukee. And the next day, I'm out to Grand Rapids, and then Detroit. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't really need any more validation anymore, to be honest. It just makes me sick. Like, I'm I'm good to go. Like, I'm just having fun. So, walking back through the early days, like you said, at least seven months ago, like, what kind of got you into the business in the first place? What was kind of the thing that clicked where you're like, I want to do music? What what, What got you into it? It wasn't really like I want to get into the business and make money. It was just I, I was just I was just making music and rapping anyways. Like mm-hmm. I was um, seven months ago, like when like the movie uh, Eight Mile came out. Yep. 
<laughs> and everybody was battle rapping. I was already battle rapping. I nice. was already in the streets. I'm in South Minneapolis, like learning kind of how to survive in some really grimy, toxic environments. And I figured out, you know, I don't have to carry a gun if I'm just like this super slick tongue um, right. jokester who could just cap on everybody and make the whole corner laugh. You know what I mean? So like that was that was my thing. So I, I was doing it regardless of if business was coming along. And, you know, I, I won a couple bat rap battles and stuff. And I was I was started making money that way. Then I started printing T-shirts, making money that way. Then I would do a show and make even more money than a rap battle. And I was like, all right. And it was just, you know, very slow going for, you know, my whole career. And it, but, you know, I just was always leveling it up every year. You got such a unique sound. Is your process involved? the lyrics first or is it the beat first? Uh, well, right now I, I, I start making my beats first. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, I, 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 beats are, for me, is like super easy and I can do any type of style. Uh -huh. For me to rap on something, it's got to be kind of true to me like i can't do country like that i just can't fake the funk on that there's certain you know areas i just can't dabble in and when i'm doing beats that's just i have like 400 beats that are just strange super strange stuff and i'm like okay this one is super caribbean like i'll right. shop this to someone else i'm sure. not rapping over it but I'll, I'll shop it to someone else but anything that has the vibe beat then yeah. then i'll do the lyrics over that you know um but i passed on i've made hundreds of beats this year passed on hundreds and wow. then um and then it's the lyrics for me so is there a place uh, being that you've got the ties to the region that you do is there a place that you tend to find inspiration that you like to work on music i mean besides the studio obviously is there another place that that kind of is a place you like to work or think on music no it's the studio man just leave okay. me alone leave like I, I i i work alone just give me time alone to think well we look forward to the show april 19th at amsoil arena gucci main prof tickets still available for the show if you've seen a prof show before he's been to duluth several times you've been up here People know the deal. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. So get your tickets now for the show. We also got some tickets to give away right now. So if you want to join a prof and Gucci Mane and the whole party at Amsoil Arena, April nineteenth, give us a call right now and we'll hook you up with tickets. And prof, thanks for the time today. We appreciate it. Yeah, rush tickets. If this is live or whenever this goes out, uh, there's only like a hundred or two left. So um, if you want to be there, you probably need to make a split decision here. Yep, get it done. Prof, yes, have a good show. Nice talking to y'all. All right, if you want those tickets, give us a call right now, 7402-MIX, 7402-MIX. We'll call. We'll take callers number eight and nine right now to grab a pair of tickets to go check out Friday Night Show at Amsoil Arena, 7402-MIX. Good luck. It's the Morning Brew on Mix 108. Mix 108 Morning Brew. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Dick Cooper, Tony Hart. Both of you, 38 degrees downtown Duluth right now at the Mix Runway Studio. So, Tony, if you thought that the uh, Barbie craze of last year, the, oh, Barbie, has calmed down, oh, no, 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 no. Um, there's a new collaboration between a couple of unlikely brands getting together. Um, Mattel and Heinz, have you seen this? I have not, no. They're teaming Please up. don't tell me they're making, like, a pink ketchup. Well, not, not a ketchup. Mustard? Nope. One more guess. Mayonnaise? Kind of. It's They're calling it barbecue sauce. Barbecue. Ah, uh, funny. So it's a mayo barbecue combo. And yeah, that's the bit is it's, whoops, it's pink. Oh, yeah, I it's saw it for a second, but yeah. Terrible. Uh, uh, yeah. So apparently the- Barbecue uh, sauce. Barbecue, yes. <laughs> that's funny. They're, they're calling this novel pink barbecue sauce that Heinz has uh, apparently been teasing- um, tied, of course, you know, the, the movie came out last year, mm -hmm. 65th anniversary of the iconic toy itself. That's the inspiration of it all. Well, um, it's apparently becoming a thing, but not everywhere. So um, being released in certain countries, UK, it doesn't say anything in there. Oh, like, we're not going to get it here? I I'm looking get through the information sauce? to see if we can get barbecue without having to, like, order it from elsewhere. Barbecue. It looks like it's it's going to be overseas. Would you eat barbecue sauce, Tony? Well, I mean, if it's good, sure. I, like, I don't know. I mean, it's just straight up barbecue sauce. It's nothing. Well, it's mayo and barbecue sauce. Oh, well, that's probably pretty good. So it looks... I mean, there's a... <laughs> Randy, where's our well, engineer? Good luck with that. Yeah, I, yeah, thanks. Um, so oh, there's yeah. a video of it squeezing out. Well, it's of not it. that pink looking. So it's it's kind of got like a magenta e yeah, look to it. Yeah, it doesn't quite look like ketchup. No, it's not quite pink. I don't know if it's good. I like the combo of uh, mayo and barbecue sauce. Though, oh really? So. Oh yeah, it's pretty oh. good. I so guess I don't know if I've ever I had it. Chances are I would maybe slap that on a burger or something. Well, you got to make your own barbecue. Make your own barbecue sauce then. I might. All right.
So yeah, I, I don't know if they, it doesn't say in this story that they have plans to bring it here. You would think it would make sense that they would, though, but maybe not. But there's a well, lot of things that pop up overseas that we don't get here. Right. So. And maybe Americans generally don't like mayonnaise and barbecue sauce mixed together. I Are don't you know. saying you're unique and special in that way? Well, no, but I'm just maybe, you know, certain countries like certain things, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, you know, Canada, they like... Uh, you know, Listen, I just watched Pulp Fiction there. over the weekend, so now <laughs> I know that they got Royale with cheeses, yep. they got uh, La Big Mac, <laughs> they dip fries in mayonnaise, yeah. Yeah, this is what they do. Uh, quick side note on the note of dipping fries in, in stuff. So, I'll dip my fries in anything. Um, you put anything in front of me, I will dip my fry in it just to try it. Apparently, out west... Like, fry dipping sauce is a big thing. Oh, yeah. You should have dipping sauce with fries. Well, well I'm not done. Like, ketchup is what you do around around the Midwest. No, 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 no. But like, legit, like, a dipping sauce made for fries. Right. Um, and I had one at a restaurant, so it was it was mayo-based, but it had pickles in it. It sure. was kind of like a... It, like what you put your fish in almost, but but not. Right. Um, it was really good. I well, was like, impressed. Uh, I know a couple of places in town that serve that serve like dips with their fries. Well, I know, yeah, there's I, like I can think of a couple that like here. These are good with your fries. Not necessarily for the fries though, per se. Uh, I don't know. I think I think they I think they're meant for the fries. Okay. Maybe I'm I wrong. think I think because like when I go, there's that uh, what. O- OMC o- or something. OMC was the first one that came to mind for yeah, me, it was too. The first of the top. But that's like meant they for have the fries. That aioli sauce. Yeah, the aioli, but that's meant for the fries, I believe. Probably. I mean, you could probably use it on other things, yeah. but I think it's meant for the fries. Maybe that somebody that works there can correct us. Yeah, let correct us know me if anybody anyways, works there. If that is that I'm wrong what it's on that. It's but good with the fries. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. I love it. I love <laughs> dipping I love di- dipping my fries in anything I can get to my hands on. <laughs> Dip it in the, uh, the coffee, the mayonnaise, ketchup, coffee. We need to test this. Whatever. We'll get some, we'll get some fries oh, and heavy dip I will stuff. dip my fries in anything. Just, just to... The fries are the perfect dipping thing. Well, and you famously do the frosty thing. Oh, that's the best. They have the new orange cream frosty. I want to go try fries with that, with fries. actually. Okay. Yeah, Wendy's and the frosty and their fries. Their fries particularly work well with their Frosty, though. Yeah. Like, they're meant to be. It's yeah. a marriage. It's a food marriage. There, there were some, heaven. some food scientists that cooked that one up. They were like, mm, ah. Because they got, Chef like, kiss. the skin-on fries yep. there that work yep. just a little bit better with dipping in your Frosty. Yep. And the Frosty is the perfect consistency for fries. It just sticks on the fries. <laughs> Can you tell I've spent some time thinking about you this? Have. I could go on for another 10 minutes about many, dipping many fries Many a day and Tony has spent yeah. enjoying that. Well, mm. I haven't actually tried it. Maybe I need to sometime. For real? I don't go to Wendy's all that often. I, don't, I mean, I don't... We don't have to go all that often. You just got to go once. That's true. To get fries and a Frosty. Right. I'll make a point at some time to go oh, to Wendy's. The best. And I'll do it. It's the there. best. Deal. All right. We'll see what's trending at the top in a couple minutes. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Mix it away morning, brew. Live from the Mix 108 studio in downtown Duluth, this is KBMX FM, Proctor Duluth Superior, a town square media station. Little wet, little windy. It's kind of the name of the game here. Last night and again today. Uh, we'll go through the forecast and kind of go through some of those other details. Rain today, showers off and on, 90% chance of seeing rain. Temperatures in the mid 40s for daytime highs. Rain expected to wrap up tonight. We could see some sun and cloud mix during the day with a little bit warmer temperatures. 53, but then later day rain showers come into the picture for later Thursday, changing to a rain-snow mix Thursday night, and some snow flurries possible on Friday with temperatures around 40. Then this weekend, breezy, mostly sunny, 48 Saturday, 55 Sunday. Um, So wind is expected to be an issue with wind gusts near the lake still up to 40 or so miles an hour today and again Friday and into Saturday. So it's going to be windy for the next couple of days yet. Not quite as crazy as the wind gust we got last night. Right. Top wind gust on top of the Blotnick Bridge, 65 miles an hour. Wow. You can see a rundown of the top wind gusts around the region. Have a full list on the Mix Mobile app at mixitweight.com. Still some power outages being reported around the region as well. Minnesota Power has a number of them around the Twin Ports area, some on the Iron Range as well. I know I had the power go out for a while last night. Went to bed as a result of it. <laughs> 
It's like, hey, time to go to bed. It was back on by morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I woke good. up and everything was full. It was kind of weird because I was laying in bed because it was about time for bed. Right. And so I've got um, a bunch of smart lights yeah. in the light fixtures in my apartment. Yeah. And the one in my living room, the only one, kept turning on and off like a strobe light almost. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Oh, that's crazy. And then I realized the power was flickering and then flickering. it was out. Yeah. So... That's fun. That's no good. Um, but yeah, we'll see a little bit drier conditions after we get through today, but still windy for the next number of days. So heads up on that front. Um, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, that's all. I was going to say, I got, I got a code for our money thing. But give you, the code away. Let's give some money away. Let's do it. 30 grand in your hand. First of 10 new codes. Startle myself with the music there. 155. 155 is today's first code. 155. Head to the Mix Mobile app or mixitaway.com. Enter it for a chance to win up to $30,000. Nice. Good luck to you. Speaking of winning, more Harbor Monsters tickets to give away this hour. Yes. Stick around for a chance to win those tickets, I believe. Uh, uh, you're going to take me on again? Is that the real? Yeah, let's, okay. we'll, we'll do another round of hurry up offense. Okay. So a listener will get to just name some things I'm that ter- start with I, the we, same letter. We learned yesterday that I'm absolutely terrible at this game, so you should win no problem. Well... I should give you. The I even tried to test myself the last night P again. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> but I tested myself last night with a couple number or letters, and I, I, I'm just terrible at it. Uh, I don't know what it is. All right, well, especially it's the pressure thing. I think. So what you're saying is the listener has yeah, a pretty a good, really, odds of, really, really, really good chance of winning. Yes, so we'll do that a little later on this morning. Stick around for that chance to win. See the Harbor Monsters in action later on this summer. Music now <laughs> from Selena Gomez. You're. <clears throat> Excuse me, I mix it away. Good morning. Where's me whiskey? Oh, it's time for Tony's TikTok treasures. Time to dig in the old chest and see what we can wrestle up. So Casey Tingley owns Love and Flower. It's a cake shop located in Colorado. And she got a phone call late at night from a potential customer demanding that she make a cake for the next day. So she decided to record the conversation and, of course, share it on TikTok. And anybody that owns a small business, this one's for you. Over a half an hour. Wait, she she seems like a very nice lady. But then at the end, she all of a sudden the, gets... The caller? Huh? The caller or the... the no, no, the, the owner. business owner, okay. the lady that put out the TikTok. But at the end, she goes... She goes 100% Samuel L. Jackson. I'm just going to ah. tell you. So brace yourself. Over a half an hour, and it's past 9 o'clock at night. I, I cannot help you. Okay, I'm just trying to explain to you. I cannot fix this for you. I can't help you. It's just I can't do it in that amount of time. You realize that I am the one with the money, right? And you're not. I am the one that's hiring you. Ma'am, that was incredibly rude. I don't know who you think. I'm trying very hard to remain professional. Uh, it's got to be hard to be oh uh, my goodness. A, a business owner and having to deal with somebody to, to, you know, that feels entitled because they have money. You know, I'm the one who's going to pay you. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I can't understand where you think you're coming from with that. I have other clients that book two or three months out for me. And there are only a few in there that I'm actually designing myself. I don't even know how you got my number. But I need this is hundred a cake for hundred and twenty for tomorrow. I need to have this done. It needs to be taken care of. It's not going to happen with me, but there are other bakers around the city that can help you. Maybe I'm I, I'm not sure. Brace yourself. Oh man, here she goes. I mean. Walmart can pull this off, but they're not. Did you? It. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did you say? I did. Okay, you know what? The only is you because you've sat here and basically made fun of the fact that everybody else on the planet doesn't have any money but you. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm the wrong. I'm the wrong. And it's past nine o'clock at night. I've got to do. Do you understand me? And it's not to make a cake for you. It's not to make a cake for you. Do you understand to lose this number? I just, I can't believe you would talk to me this way. Oh, go. So that was crazy. She's crazy. It. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know if we post that. <laughs> so there's two things here. Yes, this 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 potential customer who clearly is not going to be a customer. Oh no, no, not anytime soon. No. Um, 
It is not this business owner's fault that you waited until the last minute to decide oh, you needed absolutely. this giant cake. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, if, you know, at that point, you got to just go to wherever you can and get a cake, I imagine. We, apparently, yes. So, and the, like, this, this kind of reminds me of my, so my dad is a small business owner and, and over the years he does, you know, like remodeling projects and checking sure. and roofing sure. and stuff. And I don't know how many times over the years there have been people who have, Felt like they their job is more important than everyone else's. Well, can't you just take care of mine right now? Right. Well, no, oh, I yeah, have all yeah. these other customers who are in front of you. Right. They called ahead of time. We'd line this they, up. They did the proper thing, and 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 then the, well, I could pay a little more. Well, no, like that that's bad business for all the other people in front of you in line. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. People feel like yeah. People feel, especially if they have a little bit of money, that they can yeah. just boss businesses around like that because well. You need the money, clearly, because, you know, economy's bad or something like, you know, whatever. Yeah. You need my money more than I need it. I really hope that woman did not get her cake. I hope she didn't either. And if she did, it had, you know, somebody spitting it or something. Um, <laughs> you know, it was a nasty cake, at least. Man. Anyways, that's today's TikTok treasure on the morning brew. It's Mix 108. Stick around your chance to win some tickets to go uh, see a Harbor Monsters football game coming yeah. up. We'll play a little game with Tony and uh, and some listener on the air in a little bit here at Mix 108. Good morning. 108 morning brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Nick Cooper, Tony Hart, both of you. And we have on the phone to play Hurry Up Offense. It's Justin. Good morning, Justin. Good morning. All right, Hi, Justin. What are you up to this morning, Justin? I was just heading into work. Perfect. Well, we'll uh, we'll try to get you set up with some tickets. You can go into work feeling good this morning. So, uh, exactly. Mentioned this a little earlier. The the way this works is I'm going to give you 10 seconds to name as many things as you can and start with a letter that I'm going to give you a little bit. Get more than Tony in this hurry up offense game, and you're going to be going to see the Harbor Monsters. You get a uh, family four pack of tickets. Are you ready? Yep, awesome. I am. All right. So, your letter, <laughs> Justin, is going to be. The letter B, and your timer starts right now. Bat, ball, base, bug, book, bike, uh, boy, bag. That's oh, time. I got, got eight of them in there boing. in the time. Nice work. Count boing. Boy. <laughs> boing. <laughs> you got to give them boing. Yeah. You got to give them boing just, just because. Boing. All right. All right. So, Tony, it's on you now. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> no, I feel the pressure, and I don't All like right. it. Okay. We're going to put the pressure on you, Tony. Your oh, letter bro. is, it's a letter you're familiar with. It's T, and your timer starts right now. Um, Let's see. Tank. Uh, Tony. Um, t- uh, TikTok. Um, timer. And that's time. You got t- four of them. Oh. Justin beat you by like half. Well, still, I got four. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> you did better than, than four yesterday. Is four is more than one yesterday. This so. is very true. So, okay. Justin, you are indeed going to go see the Duluth Harbor Monsters. Got a family four pack of tickets for a game this awesome. season. Good job, Justin. Thanks for playing along yep. today. Appreciate Just it. Hold on a second, yeah, okay? Hang on. Okay, yep. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the tickets are on sale now. Regular uh, single game and season tickets available. You can get uh, information on their website, uh, DuluthMonsters.com. We have the schedule. And actually, one more chance to win tickets on our website, too. You can get all the details there okay. uh, under the uh, Win Stuff menu on the Mix Mobile app at MixIt08.com as well. So congratulations, Justin. Enjoy the game. Music on the way for you soon. Taylor Swift, Benson, Boone, and more all coming up here in Mix It 08. Mix what are we morning brew. Good morning and happy Wednesday. So Friday for Taylor Swift fans is the big day. The new album, the Tortured Poets Department, comes out. And uh, Tony is well. You know, I think we should do something fun on Friday to celebrate the new album, Nick. And yeah. uh, I know, I know, you and I <laughs> both like to dabble in poetry. Oh yeah. And so I thought it would be fun if we wrote our if we wrote our own poems. On Friday, <laughs> okay. We can, instead of the tortured poets department, will be the um, torturing poets department because our poets, it's our poems bad? will probably be really bad. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly, so we'll be the torturing poets department, <laughs> torturing okay. you with our poems. But here's the problem. Great. But here's the problem. I I don't want to just write a poem of what I want to think about. I want to write a. I want some inspiration. Tony Nick. needs a muse. Thank you. Yes. So. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to suggest some poem ideas 
for Nick and I. Just anything. Yeah. Just anything that we could write a poem about. Pizza. Rain. I don't know. Any, something any, funny. Literally anything. Something something funny. Tom Cruise. <laughs> write a poem about Tom Cruise. <laughs> write a poem about um, mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh. You know, just throw, us some, just throw us some weird ideas, and we're going to pick a few of them, and we'll write some poems, okay. and we'll recite them back. Maybe we'll have some bongos in studio. Maybe not. Maybe it will it be that kind of poetry. Slam poetry. Slam poetry. Yes, I <laughs> so some of you them can, could be. So you can either um, use the Mix One Hundred Eight app and the open mic feature and drop your suggestions in there. You can email like you can email me Tony at Mix One Hundred Eight dot com or Cooper at Mix One Hundred Eight dot com. Yeah, you can just email us some ideas. Appreciate or, the ideas. Or well, you can call us seven four zero two Mix. Or tomorrow morning we'll take some calls in preparation for Friday. Get ready for it. Poetry, poetry gathering, poetry slam. <laughs> Something. This is going to be wild. I'll put some candles in the studio. I'll bring some tea lights in, some yep. little candles, and we'll burn those. Some incense. Maybe not incense. No. But, so anyways, help us with this. Would we get in trouble if we had candles in here? Mm, I think we're good with candles. Okay. I think we're good with candles. There's no smoke detector in here. Fair enough. We're good with candles. Our engineer is very particular about what we can and can't well, have in the, here. We so. just don't want to spill the wax on anything. Right. So 7402 Mix or hit up the Mix 108 app and use the open mic feature. And give us give us some ideas on what to write a poem about for our torturing poets department on Friday morning. <laughs> it's going to be so good. <laughs> Coming up here in a couple minutes, another code in our 30 grand in your hand giveaway. Plus, we'll kick off your workday 108 minutes commercial free, fueled by Quick Trip. Coming up next, you're at Mix It Away. Good morning and happy Wednesday.